Casey Jones. Oh, Casey Jones. Oh, Casey Jones. Woo-hoo! Very nice singing, Charlie. That's quite a song, too. Yeah, you bet, Miss Drew. You know, you're talking to a, a railroad man now. That's me. I'm an old railroad man. That's what I am. Oh, how long have you been in the railroad business? Well, ever since Mr. Bergen built me a steam train last week. You know, that's his hobby, building models, you know, stuff like that. Oh, a steam train. Mm. Well, that's a very fine token of his esteem. <laughs> what am I up against here? <laughs> Yes, it is, except the token is broken. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Charlie? Uh, oh, nothing, nothing, Mr. Bergen, nothing. I see. I was just telling Miss Drew how nice that train you made for me used to be. What? It was. It is. I don't know. <laughs> Charlie, you know I built a perfect scale model of a regular locomotive. Yes, you did. You must have put a lot of time into it. Yes, and being steam-driven and very expensive, I, I don't let Charlie play with it, of course, unless I'm home. Do I, Charlie? Uh, hmm? Oh, uh, no, no, that's right, no. No, I shouldn't have, should I? Uh. <laughs> uh. Shouldn't have? Well, what, what I mean is, uh, there, there, there was a... Uh, uh, Charlie. Yes? Charlie, don't tell me anything has happened to that train. No? No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you find out anyway. Yeah. Very well. What happened? Well, it, uh, it ran off the track and scuttled itself. Over. <laughs> Charlie, don't tell me that you have wrecked that train. Well, I, I don't know who else to pin it on. You don't. <laughs> well, young man, this certainly calls for an explanation. Yes, sir. I figured it would. Yeah. So I'm prepared. <laughs> Shall I tell you my story now? Yes, I wish you would. Well, would you like me to have it uh, dramatized with sound effects? No, that's all right. Just give me the facts. Oh, you want those things? Yes. <laughs> that's a little out of my line. Yes, I know. <laughs> Shush, all right. <laughs> you too. All right. <laughs> Very well. What is this now? How did it happen? Well, it's like this. You see, old man Dugan, you know, came over to the house. He did? Yes. Uh-oh. You ain't kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and he brought Skinny Dugan with him. He did? Yes. I see him. That's a good place for another uh-oh. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that kid is no good if I ever met him. You see, Skinny has an electric train. Ah, that's fine. Yes. So he said, uh, so he said, you know, he said, uh, casual-like, you know? Yeah. He says, let's race them, see? Yes. That's what he said. Was his idea. Yes. Steam versus electricity, see? Yes. <laughs> so, of course, I couldn't say no. Why couldn't you? Well, I'd already said yes. Oh, I... <laughs> so, uh, Skinny hooked up his train, and I steamed up my boiler, see? Yes. <laughs> now, just a minute, Charlie. You're wrong right there. So soon? Yes. <laughs> Why? You had no right to steam up that engine without my permission. Oh. Now, whatever happened from now on is your fault. Oh, that's right. Sure, sure. Everything is my fault. It's always my fault. Have you noticed that? It usually is. Yeah. I suppose it's my fault that Skinny's train hit the cat. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> His train hit the cat. Yes, it did. Well, was the cat on the tracks? It... it... No. No. <laughs> No, the, the cat was hiding in the closet. <laughs> and the train opened the door and sneaked in. <laughs> of course it was on the tracks. All right. All right, go on. S silly question. <laughs> we'll go on with the story. Yeah. 
Quiet, Wilson. All right, all right. <laughs> go on here. Now, go ahead. Where else would the cat be? Yes, I know, I know. We'll go on now. I wish you could have seen that cat, though. I wish you could. <laughs> it's the funniest thing, you know. You know, it sat on the third rail. Oh, I see. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Did it blow out a fuse? No, but it blew out the cat. <laughs> Sure look funny, sparks coming out of their whiskers. Oh, no. <laughs> well, did the engine hurt the cat? I don't know. I really don't know. I know she doesn't meow anymore. <laughs> I see. Every time she comes to a crossing, she whistles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the poor thing is probably suffering from shock. Yes, I think so. I think it's a serious case of locomotive ataxia. Yes. <laughs> and she was our first casualty. Yes. Well, that is awful. Yes, ain't it, though? Yes. Now, suppose you start from the beginning and tell me just exactly what happened. Yes, sir. What do you want to hear first? The collision or the explosion? Well, now, wait a minute. Explosion. Yes. There is no reason for an explosion if you follow the instructions. Yeah, but we don't necessarily do that. No, I don't. <laughs> Everything was all right until old man Dugan said you shouldn't use wood alcohol in the boiler. Well, it was built to run on wood alcohol. Well, that's your story, yes. <laughs> but Dugan says that stuff ain't fit for a man or engine. He does. <laughs> I suppose he had a better suggestion. Well, he had some better stuff. He did. <laughs> Dugan gave, uh, gave us some uh, aged in the wood, 17-hour-old uh, Applejack. I see. <laughs> he called it uh, Kentucky Hummingbird. I see. Yeah. Applejack. Yeah, well, that doesn't sound like it's right to me to put that in the engine. No. As soon as we lit a match to it, the engine whistled twice and headed for the bathroom. <laughs> It was on a toot. Yeah. <laughs> what happened after that, I shall never know. <laughs> Finally, we got it cornered and put it back on the track. Well, and then you started the race. Yeah. They're off. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Chuck, 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 chuck. And then, bang. Bang, yeah. The trains ran smack into each other right in the middle of the living room. Uh-oh. Not in my living room. And why not, pray? <laughs> Don't you realize that that floor is covered with a very expensive oriental rug? Yes? Yes. Is that so? Yes. Well, just about dusk, our trains went through the orient. <laughs> Did you damage the rug? Well, we, we singed it a little. Singed it? <laughs> what do you mean, you singed it? Well, you know, when you go to the barber shop and after you cut... Uh, Oh, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> is the hole in that rug, is it very noticeable? No, sir, not very. Well, that's good. It doesn't show as much as the water spots. I do. <laughs> water spots? Yeah. And why water spots? Well, the firemen had to use something. Oh. <laughs> 